You'll see some, some similarities with this form and the other two forms, um, but this is probably the most different of the three forms that we graph. In. <coughs> so this one, the A is coming back, but my variables are changing a little bit. Don't be scared. All right, so <laughs> tell me what, what is an intercept, first of all? Where a point meets what? The axis, an x or a y axis. In this case, intercept form is talking about x intercepts, so where it um, crosses the x axis. Um, my a still does the same thing. Tell me what it does. We've been doing it since standard form. Oh, it tells you uh, if it's going skinny or uh, wide. Skinny or wide, what else does it tell you? Yeah. Up and down. Yeah. Okay. Right. Here, now, vertex form gives us the vertex. Intercept form gives us the, the intercepts. So P and Q are the two X intercepts, but you have to change the sign. So x equals p and x equals q, those are the two places, and if you think about a parabola, when it's crossing two times, these are the two points that it's giving me, okay? The two places it crosses the x-axis. Let's say I give you this formula. Where does that quadratic cross the x-axis? What are the x-intercepts? Negative 3, positive 1. I don't know what else is going on. Negative 3 and positive one. Can you go back to the left table? Yeah. So what I was saying is if you came here and you foiled these two out, you would end up with an AX squared plus BX plus C like we had before. But instead of doing all that, we can graph in the form it is and it's a little bit easier. So Dontrell asked a good question. He asked what about the third point? Well, the third point, what I'm missing is my vertex. But if you think about it, I've got these two points here, right? In the middle, exactly. So how do you find in the middle of two points? Besides counting. <laughs> Let's say, because maybe that's not perfect whole numbers. Close. <laughs> keep, keep naming things. Okay, so several of you are right. Well, you have to do two things. If you add them together, if you average them, which means you add them add and, divide. and divide by two. So add and divide, y'all were both right. So we do P <coughs> plus Q divided by two. This is how I find the X part of the vertex. So, and if you look, it makes sense. If I did Negative 3 plus 1 divided by 2 is 2, negative 2, over 2, which is negative 1. And if you look, that sits exactly in the middle of those two points. Okay. But that doesn't tell me where on that dotted line. How do I find out where I go? It's not bad. It's the same thing we've been doing. Every time you get an X for the vertex, how do you find the Y? You plug it in. That's the same thing we've been doing the whole time. Plug it in. So negative 1 plus 3, negative 1 minus 1. A half times 2 is 1, and 1 times negative 2 is? Put it in your calculator, yeah. 
So that means that the vertex is here. So if you look, the only work I did, I pulled those two points out of the problem, was finding the vertex. So as you finish copying that, I've got you a sheet, again with the steps on it. And there's some little things that, um, to help you out, things to keep in mind at the bottom, what A does to the graph, um, how we're finding the intercepts, and why we average. But the three steps at the top, those are the only three steps you have to graph in intercept form, okay? So I hope you're keeping up with all three of these sheets so you have them to reference when we put everything together. <clears throat> all right, so step one. Actually, let's do the... Follow along, I'm going to work through example one, and then we'll work through example two together, okay? So, example one, we have y equals two times x plus three times x minus one. So, if you look at your steps, step one is find and plot your intercepts, but we got to remember they're opposite. So, what are my intercepts here? Negative three positive one. Is anybody confused with that? Opposite signs. Okay, now step two, find the vertex. So to find the vertex and make sure you're using the points you plotted, not the same sign here. I do the two intercepts added and divided by two. So negative three plus one is negative two divided by two is that's my axis of symmetry. How, huh? Now I gotta plug it back in. I've got to find where on that green line my point goes so that I can connect them. So how do I find where I go? Plug it in. Y equals 2 times negative 1 plus 3 times negative 1 minus 1. Always do your parentheses first. 2 and negative 2. Negative 8. That means go down 8 on that green line. That's my vertex, so I just have to connect. And you're done. And you're done. This is probably the shortest. We're going to do two together now. something is missing one of the in one of the intercepts exactly so because I'm adding or subtracting what I can do is I can put a zero in for that you will be in this form if you're in intercept form yeah. because the P and the Q is being added to the X Correct. If you're missing one, then it's zero. This one's going to be a little bit harder because we're going to have a fraction. Okay. So tell me the two places it crosses the x-axis. Close. Zero and positive one because we've got to change those signs. All right, I need to find in the middle. You can probably look at that and tell what's in the middle. But if I couldn't, one half. one half, then I add them together and divide by two. <laughs> this is zero, and this one, remember, the sign changes, so it's one. Because I knew the middle was going to be a half and I wanted some room to work. Wow. 
Oh, come on. It's not that far over. Everybody's a critic. <laughs> All right. Yes. No, did you say, do you change the zero? Yeah, because I thought you said we had to change that. You do, but what's what's the opposite of zero? What's negative zero? Still just zero. <laughs> All right. Now plug your one half in. One half plus zero, one half minus one. And use your calculator. Yeah, I'm I got positive one half. Oh, sorry. One half, point five. I got one half. Yay! <laughs> Halfway up between one and two. I'm um, between zero and one, excuse me. It is, but I made my, I went so far between zero and one just so I could kind of zoom in on it and let you see. What you think? You want to do one more? No, I think I got it. Do it. All right, yeah. now y'all say that now. No, no, no. They say that. <laughs> Let's do one more. Let's do one more. <laughs> Let's do this one. All right. All of your ones tonight are going to be intercept form. So, tell me what's my first step when I look at this. I'm on the number one and I'm trying to do my homework. This is, it says graph. What do I'm I do first? Gonna, I'm going to go opposite of four, opposite of one, and I'm going to graph that. Okay. And then I'm going to find the middle by doing positive four minus one divided by two. You're absolutely right. So you're averaging them. Before we do that, while some of you are copying this down, should my graph open up or down? Down. Up. Oh, uh, positive. positive. The number in front. Um, should it be skinny or wide or average? Wide. No skinny. Because skinny, skinny it's bigger than one. All right. What's wrong, Shane? Okay. Vertex. Average them together, but change the signs. So 4 and negative 1 divided by 2. 4 and negative 1 is? 3. So if you want to put it as a decimal because that's easier for you, I'm okay with that. So you get 1.5. Yes? Yes. You got this, Nathan? All right, plug it back in to find y. 2 times 1.5 minus 4, 1.5 plus 1. Use your calculator. 1.5 also 1 half? Why? Because it's is 1 and a half. Yeah. <laughs> What you mean, two for the vertex? The vertex I added together and divide by two. You talking about what you divide by? Yeah. This two? Yes, always that's two. Um, negative two point five. So calculator, I put one and then one divided by two. Sorry. No, you need to do three over two. Or just put one point five. Oh okay. <laughs> So how that four hit the Steve Nick? Which four? Because if it's in parentheses, you change the sign. You change the sign on both of these. So this one becomes positive and this one becomes negative. So when you plug it back in, you go to the back to the bottom. You keep them opposite when you 
Oh, you're talking about when you plug in what you average together? In. Yes, you're going back to this problem. Ask me again. Yeah. I got negative. So we're going to do like that because for the last problems it was uh, like RA times a number or a negative number and then a positive number. It will. And the, the two parentheses will be the same. One positive, one negative. Yep. Down to 12 and a half. Ooh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. There's 13. That's a long graph. It is a long graph. But remember, it's supposed to be skinny, and it is going to be skinny for having to go down so far. What you think? I like it. I'm ready. Ready? Yeah, I'm ready to do it.